so my father is an editor, film editor, so I was always surrounded by uh, film. And, but I wasn't sure what I really wanted to become, but I knew it would be something artistic or something maybe to do with cinema. Um, but when I was 18, I still wasn't clear for me, so I went to film school because my parents were like, you can search, but you have to do something. You can't just sit in the house and think about it. So I went to film school and it's there that I discovered that directing was really um, my passion and really something uh, that I wanted to do. So in those four years in film school, um, every year we had to make a short film. That's that's how I discovered filmmaking was my thing, but it's also how I learned to make films. And when I graduated, I immediately started writing a feature film. Um, and there were not so many difficulties for me in the beginning as I was young and a girl and the, the government who gives the money to the people, they were very happy that they I was I was of a, in a period where they were looking for this new young wave of filmmakers in Belgium, so I w I took advantage of it and I could really so they were happy to say a young girl we can give her money and she will become our proud <laughs> example of look how young and hip we are. Um, so I um, difficulties wise there was not that many and uh, because also it was it became so much of a passion and I so knew what I wanted to do that. I, I have really the luxury to say it was something that really went very well as also the Belgian, the Flemish government in Belgium they give quite a good amount of money so it's a good basis uh, to shoot your first uh, feature film. I must admit that for the co-productions in the, for my first feature it was more difficult because they didn't have to pick a good reference. They just saw my shorts but they were short films, but they were like, yeah, but well, will you manage to make a feature film? And that became easier with my second and my third, because then people can really rely to what you've made before. It's really hard for me to say uh, what my favorite movie is. Um, I don't think I have one favorite movie, and on top of it, it changes really every year or every month or every five years. I don't know, I have another interest in what kind of movies I like. I do know that um, um, Bresson, the French filmmaker, his films were a big influence to me, um, especially um, Oazar Baltazar, the one with the donkey. Um, I wouldn't say this is my all-time favorite because then I, I regret all the other 50 films I, I don't talk about, but I must admit that that was an eye-opener for me, like, like I realized uh, that's also a way you can make cinema, the way he treats actors, the way he shows emotions. Um, and also, like he convinced me to do exactly what I wanted to do and to reinvent myself and to see cinema as an art form and not only as a commercial product. So, um, yeah, let's for today at this hour of the day, I say Bresson. If you ask me the same question tomorrow, I might <laughs> uh, give another answer. Um, and for me, uh, cinema is. Um, I think it's pretentious to say cinema is, in, is, um, is art to me because then it's, I don't know. It's for me it's a difficult league uh, to be on, to 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 play on. But for me, at least, cinema is is a way to express. Um, I was always good in several things, but no, never really good at it. Like I, I couldn't really draw. I wrote stories, but they weren't like. Like, like I wasn't a novelist, and I, I played music, but I wasn't the best musician. And then I discovered cinema, where all these things I, I was, I had a little talent for, but not like I was not super gifted. I could put them in one genre, in one um, form, um, that made all these little things become a very strong big thing. And that was cinema for me. Um, and I think the most important thing is that I still see cinema as, as a place where I can uh, really be free and don't have to, to how do you say it, I don't have to listen to any conventions. And that's the most important thing for me that I will never ever adapt to anything, that it will, s that, that freedom of doing whatever I want to do with cinema and try to um, reinvent myself if I can keep doing that. Then, then I want to continue making films for the rest of my life. Um, the first time I heard about Film Lab was through a friend, a filmmaker who was a friend of mine, and he was in Framework, 
and he won an award and it was an enormous boost for his project. Um, but still, I, I at that time, I already had made uh, three feature films, so for me, I, and, I, and before that I never worked with other uh, with script editors, I always did it on my own, the writing. Um, so for me it was, uh, at one side I was a bit scared to, to, to let my script be read by other people and judged by other people. And at the other hand it was a bit like I made three feature films, so why should I start this process now? Why, sh why didn't I do it then with my first feature film? But then Torino Film Lab contacted me asking, are you maybe interested uh, to, to, to apply? Because there was also this, um, they worked together with the Flemish uh, Film Fund. So then I thought, well, why not give it a try? Uh, so I sent them my uh, treatment and they read it and then they approved and I that was of course the reason I, I started it um, and I was a bit not nervous in the beginning but I, yeah like I said I was the first time that I really exposed my work in such an early stage but from day one I never regretted it because it was yeah it was the best that could happen to my project so script and pitch is purely for the development of the script um, and it spread uh, like a, a, a workshops spread over the whole year. This is this means uh, first there's one week where you get to know all the other participants and um, you start talking about your project. Second time you go to France and then the third time is always in Torino. Uh, and during and in between those th three periods of working intensely together, there are Skype sessions. So you have uh, sorry you have one tutor. Uh, the script uh, counselor editor uh, who, f who follows your project and the the weeks I was talking about is really about yeah in group you you discuss what you're trying to do what you've written what you're going to change you talk about the characters about the script you really um, analyze what you're trying to do but for me the the amazing thing is that um, even if you have of a conventional script or if you would have a very um, uh, artistic weird thing they always or at least as my experience they always try to um, get into your world and what you try to do and from there out they try to um, use their experience and their knowledge to make it a better script or, or um, help it develop so um, yeah it's just a whole year of intensely um, working it, the nice thing is also you have to do the work that is to say you have to do the writing they're ju just there to 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 challenge you and to ask you questions and to to examine and, and analyze um, and then there's another important part is so there's a script and the pitch part but that's more towards the ending uh, for especially in Torino they give you like a brief but intense training to learn how to pitch your script uh, but of course, as you've been working a whole year in script, you l you learn so much about what you're actually trying to do that the pitching becomes almost of a natural thing. Um, so then they train you to to I don't know I, I think it's like ten minutes or seven minutes you get where you you present your project to an audience of sales agents, distributors, festival agents. Um, I think I liked uh, both a lot being a participant and being a judge. Uh, the nice thing about being a judge is that there's less stress, but at the other hand, um, as a as a participant, it was so so it pushed you so hard towards the limit of of, of don't stop thinking, don't stop being creative, that it like it in a way it was exhausting and in a way it gave like this enormous boost of energy. So I like the fact that I'm in Torino now without the stress of the pitching part. Um, but honestly, it also gives me this um, urge to, yeah, to be creative again myself when I come home or even participate another time. Uh, and also, I will be presenting uh, uh, an excerpt of my film, so Home won the award. Um, we're in edit, we're editing the film now. We shot in the summer, and Friday I will show a little part of the film t to the same kind of people like sales agents and distributors. So there is. I'm not stressed about it, but there's still a little part of me that has to prove something or to present something.